This is the real Tom Rose. And we've been asked to calculate the value of this line, a, given the slope is negative 1 third. So let's interpret this um, question using one of our algebra techniques, actually. We've been given some information, and we've been asked to find something. We want to find a. And what all have we been given? Well, we've been given this chart. That's very useful. We've also been given the slope of line m is equal to negative 1 third. Now, how do you calculate slope? This is very important. You need to know how to do that. Slope is equal to the rise of a line over the run. So you can think of this as change in y over the change in x on a coordinate plane. Many people also memorize a, uh, another step in this formula, which is change in y is y2 minus y1. This is if you have coordinate pairs over x2 minus x1. Now we need to pick which one of these points is point number one and which point is point number two. And it actually doesn't matter. I like to work from left to right personally. So I'm going to choose um, the left point to represent x1, y1, and the second point to represent x2, y2. Now, at this point, what we need to simply do is plug in. So I'm going to take the values that we read off our chart, and I'm going to plug them into this equation for slope. By the way, the slope should be equal to negative 1 third, as was given. Should equal y2, which is a, minus y1, which is 3, over x2, which is 0, minus x1, which is negative 4. Very careful about the double negative there. So this is going to be equal to a minus 3 over 4. So let's do some algebraic simplification here. Let's multiply both sides by 4. And we'll end up with negative 4 thirds equals a minus 3. Let's add 3 to both sides. And we're going to end up with, I'm going to go over to, toward the right here, um, negative 4 thirds plus, I'm going to convert that 3 into 9 thirds. All right, so that's this 3 right here. I've converted that so that I can add the fraction more easily, equal to a. And negative 4 thirds plus 9 thirds is going to be equal to 5 thirds, which will be our answer. Note we found a match. We're looking for A. And 5 thirds is answer choice B.